today's craft, we're going to be making a simple floral ring using paper flowers for decoration. So the items that you're going to need are some coloured papers, some material, a polystyrene ring, some scissors, a pencil, wooden skewer, some ribbon and a glue gun. So the first thing we need to do is take the polystyrene ring and we're going to cover it with some of the material. So to start with we're going to take a strip of the material, start by making a snip down and then we're actually going to rip strip off the edge of the material so we've got a nice raw edge rather than cutting it straight so we tear that off get rid of the rest of the material so you need a nice long strip which we're going to wind around the polystyrene ring so we start off taking the end and we're going to Pop that to the back of the polystyrene ring, secure it with your finger and then gently wrap around the strip of the material. You're going to put your finger there and overlap the edges so that you're covering all of the polystyrene ring. Just keep, make sure you keep turning it over side of the fabric as we go around, passing it through each time, straighten it out, overlapping, smooth it down and pass it through, keep tucking it through and work your way around the ring. Should you run out of material, don't worry, just tear yourself off another strip and what you can do is just start off the new strip by tucking it under the old one just and just secure with a with a blob of glue so that the fabric's secured on, on the back of the ring and then carry on wrapping around. Keep on going, tuck it through. until you've covered the whole of the polystyrene ring. Once you've met the join, take your fabric and you need to cut it at the back where you're going to secure it with a blob of glue again, so snip it off. And then get the glue gun, blob of glue on the back, and fasten that down. Just wipe off any excess glue there. Fingers. And there you have your ring. So you can set that to one side and the next thing we're going to do is make paper flowers. So take a piece of the coloured paper and then we're going to draw a rough circle. So anything that you've got circular at home, we've got some tape here and it it's going to be rough. It's not actually really going to be that's circular because this is going to be a rose, so you want a natural kind of edge, so it can be a bit wiggly and, and off. So I'm going to cut out that shape, so yeah, it's just a rough, 
rough shape for the outer edge of your rose. Snip that out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a spiral now. So snipping in from the edge, cut the spiral out, working your way around to the centre of the shape. When we get to the middle, we need to leave a little bit of a circle, which is going to form the base of the rose. So the spiral of the rose that you're going to create will actually sit on that base. So we get the wooden skewer and we're now going to roll the spiral. So tuck that in with your thumb and roll it in your fingers. So the, the bottom edge, keep try and keep that quite tight and keep it at the same kind of height doesn't matter about the top edge because that's going to be the top of the rose so that can be up and down at different heights but it's just where the base is going to be you just need to keep that on a level keep it nipped in with your fingers so just work it round a bit in your fingers and then pop it down on that circular base and just let it spring out so that it's nice and natural and that's going to create a little rose shape. So to secure it we need to pop a blob of glue with the glue gun down on the base and then secure that spiral press it down so that it's all connected and there you've got your paper rounds. Quite simple. So I've made a few others. We're going to just use three for our decoration today. So we get the ring. And the other thing that you might want to make are some leaves, which we can make from the green card to add in decoration with the roses. So to make the leaf you need to take the green card and draw out with the pencil a simple leaf shape. Cut this out Centre of the leaf. So if you get something to draw along, draw a central vein down the leaf and then give it a fold and a squeeze. And there you've got your simple leaf shape. So you can make a few of those. thing we need to do is attach it all together. So take a rose and pop on a blob of glue and attach that somewhere on the wreath. and then take a leaf, work out where you want it, a blob of glue and then just secure that in. And just carry on working up your design. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. Bit. 
glue, pop that in. you've got your decorative design. Let's give that a squeeze to make sure it's all secure. Next thing we need to do is to make a hanger. So take a piece of ribbon, cut a piece off, a small piece that we're just going to use to create the hanging loop. So fold it round, creating a loop. your hanger. I'm going to secure this to the back of the glue. I'm going to end up the ribbon onto the glue, press it down and add another blob the end of the ribbon, pop that down press it down maybe using a, a skewer or something so that you can get it on your fingers it's a bit warm and there you have your completed piece a lovely decorative floral wreath made from paper flowers hope you've enjoyed today's simple craft tutorial and that you'll join us again for another craft that you can make yourself at home.